Right, on the on the previous um, post that I put on about the pressure, it was about the movement of the fish according to the pressure and so forth, right? Now that applies to when you find a shoal the previous day and the next day it's not there. So that would be like slingers and soldiers and stuff like that, right? You'll find them on a 50 meter, 80 meter, whatever depth you find them. That shoal, that is the art of chasing a shoal and knowing which way the shoal went, you know. Um, everybody say that, like for instance in the Gilbeck, that, you know, the Gilbeck comes from the, from the south, from Cape Town side and um, migrate past Durban. I mean that is that's partially true. Um, there's only a couple of guys that's that's got the art of catching Gilbeck right through the year. So we've got our residential Gilbeck which stays on, on their area. So they'll have the area say between uh, the cuttings and and the South Pier Point, you know. That shell will move in and out according to temperature that will be into land or out to sea. Now what happens with these with these gelback is <clears throat> they they actually lay eggs in the summer so you won't find me targeting you know the breeding stock. Um, I tend to stay away there is professional guys that that target them right through the year and are very successful for them. So our current our southwester wind will bring warm water and our northeaster wind cold water. Right? So in the summer if the wind's blowing northeast for three days, the temperature of the water will go down. And that will actually bring the Gilbeck in from the deeper grounds, shallower. If I say shallow, then I say 200, 200 meters. You know? Uh, up to about 70, 80 meters, sometimes to 50 meters, right? So, in the summer, these fish, they lay eggs on uh, close to the continental shelf area, you know? And you get two type of fish when it comes to laying of eggs. The one, the male and the female swims together. In shoals, the dominant one will be the male. There will be a couple of dominant once according to how many fish there is and uh, the female will spawn and the the eggs will be fertilized with a male simultaneously right so your wind and your current strength has got a great effect on the success rate of your next run if there's no current then the sperm and the eggs will meet together and you'll have fertile eggs. Right? Now what happens with these? Gilbeck is on the continent itself. They spawn there and the eggs get carried down to the Cape area. Right? Along the way these things breed out. Um, I think it's, it's the same as a plant. You know, If you put it in a fridge, a seed in a fridge, and you put them in the ground, the change in temperature makes it to ignite, right? So these eggs are carried down to the Cape, ignites there, breeds out, and that is your migrating shell that comes up to Durban, you know? Here they'll meet up with with the 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 breeding stock, the the the, the bigger fish, you know, the mature fish. And they will join a shell and they will actually stay here. So your, your, your migrating shoals, you'll find them coming up and you'll get your resident shoals. I mean, all along the coast you'll get a resident shoals that's been there for years, you know. Uh, Mossel Bay, George, all of those areas, Cape Town has got their, 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 their breeding stock that stays there. You know? um, to come back to the situation about your different fish, the other one, is obviously the one that lays sticky eggs. Now, s sticky eggs, what we mean is like Norwegian salmon, the clownfish, like Nemo, and um, obviously the blue noses and so forth. These fish, 
the males and females you can identify them directly that you'll only catch females and they'll all be in eggs and then you'll catch males that all got sperm in them you know those fish attach their eggs to a reef and the males and females swim apart in different shoals the female shoals will be much bigger than the male shoals females comes in they lay the eggs male come in spawn the eggs and that's the way they operate right so now if you target a shoal you need to know on the species what each and every fish's habitat is uh, the way you'll target a rock out the way you'll target cat face rock out the way that you will target um, slingers soldiers and so forth <coughs> first thing you look at the body if the stomach area is soft like for instance a cat face it means that cat face won't move <coughs> Rosie give me some juice there please so the cat face is bound to a rock it won't allow any other cat face within 20 meters of it that's his area he stays there that's why the stomach is soft he will take that pressure his swim bladder will swell and it will decrease that's why the stomach contents the stomach is soft now you get like a sling and a soldier you'll get that they they will have <coughs> a much firmer stomach that means they move if the pressure increase decreases that fish moves either into coast or out of coast right <coughs> hmm. I forgot where it was. Coming back to coming back to the Gilbeck. Um the the eight kilos it's a seven to eight kilos, seven and a half to eight kilos, up to nine, ten kilos here in Durban. Those are your resident fish. So they will come from the deep water, they will come in shallower, they will disappear. You will find them in the southwester, blowing a lot of time. They go deeper water, you miss them in the northeaster blow, they come in shallower. So you hit them, you hit them not, you miss them and so forth. They anticipate the sardine run, they run a little bit from north, they come down to the south. So you will find in the early stages of the sardine run, we start on the north side and we work ourselves in either the north side or deeper reefs and so forth until we start getting the six kilo seven kilo jobbies five kilo the smaller fish those are your shoulies then you start in the south then you know right we're running south we're running baba ilovo we're running Grikwas and so forth. So unfortunately I'm running a chart and I'm limited on 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 distance according to fuel. You've got to draw a line between how much you're gonna charge the people for catching two fish, what they're willing to pay, and according to that amount you've got to fish in an area which you can afford. So um one day I'll run south and because everybody's watching the Facebook the next day I'll run either deep or north so there's basically four areas you'll run you run shallow you'll run dose bump all the areas there's about 17 18 different reefs you can do in the vicinity of the flats your next portion would be maggie's maggie's will be your it's actually called gibbet somebody he changed the name to his wife's name but actually gilbert and Gilbert, Believe, Rope, uh, John Ross, Ben Quirum, Steve Swartz, right? Uh, that will be your one section you'll run. Your other section that I would run is your deep reefs, 78, 66, 85, uh, then 55 maybe, 
right? And then if I run south, 54. The warship. The warship and then... Uh, Coopers, ledges, southern ledges, church ground, inside of the church ground, and the pipe. And there's a couple of other reefs that you can also run. So there's four different areas you can run on the watch them. So when the geobek starts running, I like to um, just alter it out. But it's more important for